Immediately invoked function expressions or ifies are a very common structure in JavaScript. However, unless you have been introduced to them, you may not be aware of what it is doing when you see an immediately invoked function expression. In this tutorial, we are going to introduce you to ifies. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. Ifies are a staple of JavaScript development, so let's make sure you understand them. First, let's talk about the name. The name for this construct tells you exactly what it does. This is a function expression which is invoked immediately, therefore immediately invoked function expression. In fact, the function expression is invoked at the time it is defined. Now, if you need to review the difference between function expressions and function declarations, I've included a link in the description to this tutorial. Now, when would you use ifies? Well, here's a scenario. Your code needs to do some setup tasks when the page loads, such as setting up event listeners. You only need to do this once, so there is no reason to create a reusable function. And by doing it with an iffy, you prevent the creation of global variables because it provides a local scope for all of your code that needs to be invoked immediately. So that is one example of why you would need to do it. There are a lot of different patterns in JavaScript that use ifies. And this is one of the topics I delve into deeply in my advanced topics course, which I will also include a link to in the description section. Now, to understand how ifies work, we need to look at an example. So now let's first set up a very simple function expression. I am simply going to multiply two numbers together. And I'll log the results to the console. So 5 times 5. That's all we are doing. This is our function expression. Now, how do we invoke this? Well, as you know, we use parentheses to invoke a function. So the parentheses at the end of this variable name will cause it to invoke the contents of that variable, which happens to be a function. Let's go ahead and save that. Let me refresh, open the console. Of course, we get a 25, but let's also take a look at that variable. Notice what the variable contains. It contains what we defined in the function. So that's why when we enter the variable and then enter parentheses to invoke, it causes that function to invoke. Now, what if we wanted to invoke it immediately? What if we didn't want to include this line here? We simply wanted to put parentheses right there after we had defined it. Let's see how that works. Save that. And this time I refresh, I still get the 25. So it is still working. Let's take a look at the variable now. Notice the variable is undefined. That variable is no longer necessary because we are invoking the function immediately right here. There's no need to place it inside a variable. So that variable is unnecessary. Well, can we get rid of that part then? If I remove this and I save it, what happens? We get an error, unexpected syntax error, unexpected token, and it's a left paren. So what is that error referring to? So if we jump back here, it's talking about this left paren. Now, why would that be a problem? Well. Because when the JavaScript engine encounters the function keyword, it assumes we are creating a function declaration. And so the next thing that it should see is a name for that function, not a paren. 
So when the paren is there, it gives us a syntax error. Well, in JavaScript, we can enclose anything inside of parentheses. And by enclosing this inside of parentheses, it will keep it from being a syntax error. Because the first thing it sees is a paren, it's not going to assume that we are doing a function declaration. So if I enclose the entire thing in parentheses and then save it, refresh, there we have an immediately invoked function expression without the variable declaration, which is what we want. So this function expression is now being invoked immediately at the time we define the function. It creates a local scope for any of the code that's inside the function so that we avoid creating global variables. All right, let's look at this one more time. I'm going to remove these parentheses and walk through this one more time. So here we have a function expression. Now, as we know, this will generate a syntax error because we have function as the first keyword. So if we enclose it in parentheses, that now becomes valid. If we save that and refresh, we don't get a syntax error. But we also don't get the results appearing on the console either. And that's because we did not invoke it. Well, now we can add parentheses to invoke it. And there we go. So this is a second way to create an immediately invoked function expression. We enclose the function expression in parentheses first, and then we put the parentheses to cause it to invoke. So both methods work fine. Some people prefer this. This is actually the structure I prefer. I think it's more intuitive. We're enclosing it in parentheses and then we're invoking it. Other people prefer that structure there. Both work. So you can really choose whichever one you want to do. So that is immediately invoked function expressions. That is how it works and why it works in JavaScript. I hope this was helpful. Hit the bell button to be notified about new tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button or click the circle link on the left. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website for full courses and to support this channel. Thanks for watching.